the next question from PP Sports, please. What is that? Hello. 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 Nee, nee, then the sound. Sound on, please. Your mic is off. Maximally jacked off at hello. night. Ah, hello. Now, the now it works. Leeds signing Rodrigo from, from Valencia. What? Messi leaving Barcelona. Sure. Comunicado oficial. 2020 is absolutely bananas. Oh What's up, boys, and welcome to the 96 award winner Tiago Alcantara, one of the one of the top five apparent transfer rumors right now. Uh, and according to Fabrizio Romano and a couple of the other sources, uh, it is looking likely that he's going to be heading to Liverpool after winning the Champions League and league with uh, with Bayern München. So uh, a very very interesting card to get. It is a plus three over his team of the season card, or what did he have? Hold on, Tiago Alcantara. Uh, he had himself that team of the season card and how does it uh, how does it compare to that? It looks like it is about a 200 total in-game stat upgrade and does get some significant stat upgrades Whereas before he had 80 pace, which was kind of on the mess side even with this one I think it's only 82 or 83 pace over uh, sprint speed. So we're definitely gonna find a chem style to adjust that um, He turns into a ridiculous ridiculous card and if you guys are still playing FIFA you guys are still doing SBCs uh, This doesn't look like it's bad value at about hundred fifteen hundred twenty thousand coins But that's what we're gonna find out in today's episode of per usual boys if you guys are enjoying the epis Drop a mad lad like on the video if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below. And today we're just gonna have a little conversation about uh, a little conversation about what's going on in the transfer rumors. Chelsea, Malanga Sar. It looks like Thiago Silva's close to being done. Kai Havertz is official. Uh, uh, Chelsea have just gone ahead and done absolute bits after their transfer ban has been reversed. Um, after the transfer ban expired, and it looks like Chelsea are pushing for not just maybe top four, top five, but it looks like they might be coming for that top spot. So Chelsea are doing bits, and uh, Thiago would go a long way to help out uh, Liverpool. I suppose be a little bit more creative from uh, from their midfield, um, and I think would be uh, would be a perfect fit. But that's what we're gonna find out today if he's a perfect fit for your FIFA squad. So what do you get with this Thiago Alcantara card? So he's medium, medium, five star skill moves, four star weak foot. Nothing changes there. A 96 overall rated, 98 acceleration with. 82 sprint speed. We're using the anchor chem style to bring him up to, uh, to jack him off up to 87. 97 attacking positioning. Finishing is fine as it is. If we're putting him in, attacking, in an attacking positioning, I suppose I'd want that to be a little higher. 93 shot power. 97 long shots with incredible, uh, incredible volleys. Passing stats for days. Elite level passing stats. And then we go over to the dribbling and 99 dribbling. Literally, there's no point using a chem style to touch the dribbling stats because it is already maximally jacked off at 99. Uh, defending stats, I think this this is why the anchor is the most popular on footbin and foothead already has 99 interceptions and then all uh, defensive awareness standing tackle slide tackle uh, all go up plus 10 and then the physical stats go up over 80 and then aggression goes up to 95 so with the anchor chem style i do believe it is the perfect one to use uh you max up his acceleration get the defending stats uh, jacked off and then physical stats go up a little bit as well uh in terms of traits to speak of he's got injury prone but for us in ultimate team outside the foot shot and flare are the only things that matter and today we are pairing him alongside the craziest, not the most total in-game stat, uh, the most total in-game stat card in FIFA, I'm, mind you. Kevin De Bruyne still has that as Team of the Season and Team of the Year versions both ha uh, have that designation. But 95 Leon Goretzka, look at these, look at this card. Just look at it. Was für eine ist das? Leon Goretzka's 95 has been upgraded, as has the Coleman, as has the David Alaba's, uh, the David Alaba UCL showdown card, uh, and then Kingsley Coleman as well. Comunicado oficial. 2020 is absolutely bananas. I'm looking at Twitter right now, and Carlos Puyol just said, uh, Respeto y admiración, Leo, todo mi apoyo, amigo. That is mad. He's actually leaving. Come on, Louis. Let's go, Louis! Don't let the fact that Lewandowski just scored in the opening minutes of this match distract you from the fact that he was a 100% robbed of the Ballon d'Or. Don't let the fact that Messi is leaving Barcelona... This can be good. Hyun-Min-Son.
Louis, dude, put some respect on the boy's name. Put some respect on Robert Lewandowski's name. The 97's actually kind of cracked. The 99 goes for about, I think the 99's like 600, 700K. But this 97 headliner card still is absolutely nuts. I can't. I, I, I... What am I even experiencing right now? Match number one with 96, Thiago Alcantara. I mean, feels exactly like you would expect. I don't think he has a... I don't think he has a goal. I don't even think he has an assist, but the dribbling stats are nuts. He actually helped out. Uh, he was actually pretty pretty solid defensively. A 6.9 for Thiago Alcantara. He did, as a matter of fact, get himself an assist, uh, as did Jan Fete Arp. And then uh, Lewandowski, got things, uh, Lewandowski got things kicked off with, uh, with two goals. This guy was actually very, very good, I might add, as well. This guy was a very, very good player, and I don't know how he did, didn't beat me, if I'm being honest with you. Imagine watching every replay in August. Diego, Leon Goretzka, se junta alrededor de la pelota tratando de pasar por el líder. You want to watch every replay? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep it cool, brother. I'm just going to skip my replays. I'm going to do my hair. I'm going to skip my replays. And damn it, I'm coming back and I'm winning this game. How? 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 You didn't impose anything. He's shushing me. Imagine shushing in September. Fine. 6-1. He deserved a win. 14 shots, 12 on uh, target. He dominated me. But how are you going to shush in September, my man? Sometimes you just have enough. Sometimes you just have enough of being tossed around like a little ragdoll. Let's go, Goretzka! <laughs> Come on, lad! His default celebration is the shush. I'm sorry, I'm not meaning to do that. I'm literally just trying to get over to the camera. Is this the most endgame card in FIFA right now? And he's got finishing too. He's got finishing capabilities as well, boys. Don't let it trick you. He can get the job done inside the box, even only with the 84 finishing because he does have the crazy shot power as well. Tiago Alcantara. Vamos, chicos. What a finish. Oh, 
I, I'm sorry, but how do you make that? Wait for it. Come on, Yad Vitor! 81st minute! We need the game winner. We need to we need to win it. We need we need to win at least one game. Division four is absolutely filled with relegators. I, I mean like I guess we're just at that stage in the game where like all teams have like such crazy cards. Like, what is this? Just, just get me out. It, it is legitimately an arcade mode. Take a look at some of these stats. Uh, Goretzka comes in with the uh, with the two goals. And Thiago comes in with the one goal. Jan Fete Arp with the two goals. And then Lewandowski involved in, I believe, every goal from an assist perspective. So he was just absolutely incredible. Uh, tackles one, two out of three for Thiago. Three out of three for Goretzka. Uh, passes completed 30 out of 33 for Thiago. And then dribbles completed 24 out of 35. 15 out of 15 for Goretzka. And if there's one thing I guess that this episode here highlights is the fact that this Goretzka card is a mad. He does it all. He's got, I think, 92 on every, fa on every face card stat. And uh, it's just a ridiculous, ridiculous card. And I think he's actually pretty good value for what he's going for. For 330, 340,000 coins, the only thing he's missing is skill moves, but he's got the four-star weak foot. Now, the Tiago, super, super agile, really, really good. I suppose I, I played him as the RCM. I didn't play him as a, in a very sexy attacking role because he does have some defensive stats. So I kind of just wanted him to be uh, involved in defense as well. And medium, medium, he's just that guy that you can rely on to be there. He can make tackles. Uh, he can obviously create chances in the build-up play, and he even showed that he could score a little bit. So for 115, 120,000 coins in freaking December, I would go so far as to say that the value is 4 out of 5, and I would also give him, in terms of on-the-pitch performance, a 4 out of 5 as well. Of course, uh, I'm not letting that Bayern, uh, I'm not letting the Bayern, um, the Bayern bias seep into the, into this way view, but, uh, just a very, very fun card to use, and I think is, uh, really good value for the, uh, really, really good value for the coins that EA are asking for him. So a very, very fun card, absolutely embarrassing. And again, that's what's happening in Division 4 in, in, in September. They're relegating. That, 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 that's who's playing FIFA right now. All the Only the hardcore guys are still playing FIFA. And maybe that's a question I have for you guys. Let me know in the comments. Are you still playing FIFA? And if so, what are you doing? Drafts? Foot champs? Uh, S just rinsing your club in SBCs. But um, that's going to do it for the episode, you boys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Tiago Alcantara, maybe the next time we see a special card, he's going to actually be maybe a once to watch or maybe be for Liverpool. But uh, that is to be decided soon. But anyway, boys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I'll catch you guys for another one tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Adeh.